down. Go down. Good morning. We are outside the shop today and we are working on the Bombi inside the shop. The first order of business today is the same as the last order of business in the last video. And that is we're going to keep tearing this down and keep working on things that we forgot to do. One of the things that we haven't done yet is mounted the windshield wiper. I guess what I'm going to start with. I'm thinking maybe welding a plate onto this so that we can just put bolts. Yeah, so we don't have to pull the whole motor apart to take it off and on. So we need a plate with a hole big enough for this to go through. Yeah. Okay, I'll look for something. And that's your template. And I'm going to go see if I can find something for tab. So this is the right width. It's a little thick, but I think it's going to work. Just looking for something that I can use as a tab. Something really cheap and easy. Fast and furious, if you will. I think I'm just going to use these. Cut these up and use them. Okay, these need to be polished up both sides. So Rhett, you and Caitlin figure out how to do that. When I say polish, I'm usually meaning grind. This is the light bar from the front. Ooh, let's see this light bar. Oh, I need to mount this. That's something I can work on. So we're tearing this thing apart. And at the same time, we're still putting it together. We talked to our contact at Harbor Freight and we said, we need to see at night. And he sent us this. Oh my goodness. That's gonna look so good over that. That's gonna fill that hole really well. All right, trying to put those brackets on there. So this is gonna be going to the sandblaster and we can't take the differential off of there. So we're just gonna cover it to protect it. We'll have to totally clean this out, but this will just keep them from like sandblasting in there. We might need to drill these holes out a little bit bigger. Oh, that's big. Oh, yeah. Not this. What you driving? This is what we're giving away at the off-road games. Last year at the Record Games, we gave away a Can-Am. This year at the off-road games, we're giving away a brand new 2023 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon Edition. It's nice. Two weeks ago, we sent Hefe and Greg down to Stephen Way Jeep to pick this up. All right, so here it is. We got a 2023 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. So it's a good one. It's the one that comes with the e-lockers and all the other little goodies. We're gonna check it out. There you go. All right, go ahead and look on in there. So, just like the Bronco, we need to upgrade this thing because it's a little too short. It's going to get bumpers, it's going to get wheels and tires, it's going to get a winch, it's going to get better rock sliders, it's going to get lights, it's going to get much, much more. This needs to be able to have the Mass Off-Road Recovery Badge right here. Right now, it's not worthy of it. So all proceeds from this giveaway are going to a charity. We haven't picked it yet, but that's where they will go to. So it'll go to a good cause of some kind. And there's that. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. See ya. So I just need a big hole. I don't really know how big. We'll just keep drilling. Okay, we'll see if that's big enough. All right, now it fits, a little nub stick through. We can go weld this in or whatever we're doing on the bumpy. All right. Okay. Is that sticking out far enough? Definitely. Okay. So I'm thinking these, what we need is a hole drilled right here. Tom, just a 7 16 hole in the corner. In the corner? Just as close as you would get one to the edge in gotcha. both of those corners. Okay, Caitlin, while he's drilling those holes, I'll have you weld these up. Remember, watch your pool and make sure that, when I say fat, I just mean make sure that you're getting both of these done. This is gonna reject, reject it a little bit because there's a zinc coating on it, but then it'll burn off really fast. And then just watch those two flow together. Sadly, I can't get this over because of the arm on the wiper. So I can't use Sally for anything other than a table. This is hardly a bolt anymore. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so these are the tabs that we're going to use for this. That's 
Looks good. Let me look at it. See how you've done. Oh, that's awesome. Almost looks perfect. So don't worry about us getting weld spatter or grind spatter on this glass. We're replacing all the glass. We're actually going with a thinner glass to save some weight. There's a lot of glass weight in this rig and it's going away. I don't and know then, if it needs the weight loss though. With that, those okay, Tom, you want to grab me that wiper motor? Yeah. Woo! That's hot. Yeah, she just Hello. welded that. All right, we just got a call. Me and Tom are going to stay here working and we're sending this team out to do it. Team Bravo. What does Bravo mean? Bravo means great job, guys. Oh. They're gonna meet up with Hefe and Greg and go get this done. We're gonna stay here and get this done. This plugs up right there. And look at those. Those just need to be welded. Okay, I'm gonna come around to the other side. Oh, I think your gas is on. Oh. The gas should be on. I don't know if that's paint weird, contamination. It just did weird things. All the lead in the paint. Yeah. See if it even fits. It's great. All right. It's the best fitting wiper ever. That is now a feature. All right. Take them back out. Yeah. So you can weld. Holes are filled, on to the next thing. So both sides of this cab originally had bump stops up here that the doors would fold back and hit up against. And I bought some new ones online to replace the ones that were all tore up and rotted on these. So I think these are gonna work. I installed one down here, it fits perfect. The one up here, I think we have to grind a flat or something to make it fit around this windowsill, but I think it'll work. We're gonna go with this. We'll install these after it comes back, all clean and pretty from Robbie Layden. Good morning. Yesterday got crazy. We had a couple jobs come in. The crew got fractured into various different tasks. But we are back on the Bombie today and I think we are ready to pull the cab. Jamie, will you drive the forklift over here? I've never done that. I don't even know how to. It's, it's time to learn, I guess. All right, this won't start unless the brake's on and that's the brake. You can't even read any of these cages, You don't have to. So. So just start it up with that key. Get that off the brake. To pick that boom up, you use this. So this lever does two things. Forward and back, lifts us up and down. But if you push the button, it moves back. That makes sense. And then this goes out, and this goes in. You go forward. Just step on the brake and then move this forward. That's forward. Okay? And now it puts the parking brake off. Okay, you're done. I thought I was going to get to drive in there and like lift the cab off. No, they're going to pull it out. Huh. That was boring. Safety. Safety. Look who showed up in the shop today. I'm back. Not for a really long time though, just for today. Just for a little visit. So Lizzie says she's got most of the cows off the range. There's a few stragglers they've got to go find. Yep, more so, riding, more roping. Do you have some downtime for a while? Like, is it slow down this time of year or are you busy all the time? Well, it does because the days aren't as long and it's freezing. Oh, okay. So whether we want it to or not, it kind of does. It does. <laughs> well, you're here just in time to see us take this apart. For the 2500 time. That's the way she said it makes it sound bad. For the last time. I see Caitlin and Jamie are out here working hard.
job, baby. Look at that. Just a few minutes of instruction. You too can lift a Bombi cab off of its chassis. With a thing. With this. Have you ran the motor a lot? No. No, we've still got to take it apart. It's got a it's got a weird oh. camshaft system. It's a variable displacement. Displacement on demand is what it's called. So we got to get rid of all that. So we've got the kit to get rid of that. And then we'll go. But this one's all aluminum. It's the lightest LS they make. Yeah, we'll do that engine stuff while this is all a Robbie Lee. Gotta keep your business going. Yes. Okay, Jamie, drive it up here. Where did our operator go? <laughs> Jamie, I need you to drive that up. It's time to pull this. Okay. Curl just a tiny bit, not much. No, curl. Stop. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Okay. Don't do anything. No, don't curl. I've decided not to have you do that. Is your parking brake? You got your parking brake off. Come on. Sorry. Sorry, I was not trying to do that. Okay, go up really gentle. Up. Start. Right out of there. Okay, I got this one. Okay, really slow and gentle up. Slow up. You got it. All right, we just got back from lunch. It was really fun to hang out with Lizzie. Man, we miss her. But the show must go on, metaphorically and actually. Let's call Robbie. Hey Siri, call Robbie Layton. The reason Robbie never answers on the first ring is because he's always like in the paint booth or running a sander right. or something. Right now he's trying to rip off his hood and his suit. And... <laughs> Where's my phone? Hey Robbie. Hey, how's it going? Um, we're just here trying to figure out scheduling. When are you ready for this Bombi stuff? Um, I am ready whenever you are. Okay, did you get the Jeep running? Yep. Robbie has a Jeep that we're bringing back here to do some work on. More about that when we pick it up. I haven't even seen it. So anyway, we are just finishing this up, so we might be, what are you doing Saturday? Uh, I'll be around. Okay. So if we were if we brought this up Saturday and, and grabbed that Jeep, that would work for you? That would be no problem. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Well then we'll just plan on seeing you on Saturday. Okay. Thanks, man. Right. Thank you. See you guys. That guy's awesome. That ought to ride. Good morning, it is almost noon on a Saturday. We got up this morning, did a few chores, then we headed out to the yard and we got the Bombi loaded on the Freightliner. Got the lovely Jamie with me today. I'm excited because my barn's bumpers are going up too to get powder coated. Oh, that's right. We got the bumpers for the rental Jeep, so we got those loaded up so that Robbie can work his magic on those. Peanut decided that she was absolutely coming with us today. I, she might live to regret that when she sees how long this ride is. <laughs> She's been asking why we haven't stopped to let her run yet. All right, we stopped and got some lunch at Dairy Queen right here in the Beaver Valley Chevron. Look at that, beautiful cargo. And the weather changed on us. Oh yeah. It's we raining. We need a new <laughs> weather report. Jamie's kind of feeling bad because Peanut's on such a long trip without very much running. So she got Peanut a treat. She's and getting her own chicken strip. And just like us, when Peanut's on the road, she eats junk food. <laughs> so we had the window cracked a little bit while we were in there grabbing food and, it, and, a, and the squall came through like really bad. And Jamie's seat is soaked. Yeah, super soaked. Oh, was that good? All right, back on the road.
Well, it is quite a haul up here to Robbie's neck of the woods. We're not even quite there yet, but we are definitely in his territory. Just rolling into Bantai, and then the next town I think is Ephraim. There might be one between there. Peanut's ready to get out. I'm ready to get out. Jamie's ready to get out. Uh, Peanut thought we were getting out. 15 more minutes. All right, so like I said, the plan is sandblasting, powder coating, and painting. I'm gonna kind of let Robbie decide how that all happens. I'm really excited though. It's just gonna be black and yellow. I do want to talk to Robbie today about what color of yellow. Like, are we gonna go exactly back this like bright yellow or we're gonna go a little more gold? I don't know. I just want to see some paint colors and, and just see. Because there's no official Mats Off-Road Recovery yellow. The vehicles are all just kind of yellow. After we get this all unloaded, we're going to be loading up a Jeep and we're going to be taking that back home and we're going to be modifying it because we want to see if the banana can be duplicated. Hey! How is the drive in the old Freightliner? Oh, it's just nice and long. long. <laughs> you guys have zombie strip down. Yeah, so... Yeah. So one thing we've done is all these bolts that are in here are sacrificial. Just okay. leave them in to protect the threads in the sandblasting, leave them in for the powder coating. And take them out. Take it out. Any of them that don't have bolts in them do not need to be protected. They're, okay. They've been abandoned. Hi, Caitlin. I made it. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Caitlin, nice to meet you. So, Caitlin showed up to help us unload all this, so that was good. You were just in the area, right? Yeah, I was. My right. family that happened to live down here, and I just happened to be down here this weekend. It's funny how that works well, out. Where are we put? All right, we have got this dropped off. I believe it's in good hands. Robbie assures me it's in good hands. Hopefully. Are you going to sand on this? I we're love. Gonna, we're going to cheat and probably sandblast. I love the sanding videos. Oh, good. That's pretty much the only <laughs> videos I watch. Oh, good. Well, then we'll do 30-minute videos, 25 of them on sanding. Real this. time. Just, just real time. Just, just a live just, feed? Yep, live feed to sanding. <laughs> so Robbie has a Jeep Cherokee, and as soon as I found out he had one, I said, do you want me to make it more capable? And he said, yes. I said, absolutely. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if the banana can be duplicated. I think that they can do it and they are the right people for the job. All right, let's go pick it up. Yeah. Sounds nice. Sounds yeah, super nice, huh? Oh well, yeah, she's a, she's a runner. Hey, dude. That's a little gas. See if we can fit these We gotta put, are these 40s? I'm not seeing it right there. 39s. That's a BFG 40. What are we gonna, how are we gonna get 40s on this? I mean, I know how to, but oh my goodness. I think this is gonna end up taller than the banana. Let me show you why. This door right here, that limits how far up here you can cut unless you move the back axle back. So if you can move the axle back here and put a nice arch up in here, but that means you have to relocate the gas tank like the Rudicon. So yeah, we'll figure it out. I ain't scared. All right, we got this loaded up. We're gonna take it back to the shop. We're gonna look at it and see if it's even possible to duplicate one of the best off-road machines in the world. The best in the world. All right, we made it back to the shop. Now it's time to get this engine up to par so when the Bombie comes back, we can put it in. Thanks for watching. Nailed it. Editors, fix that so it goes in. <laughs>